You ever had that friend that grew up together and is super talented, whether it be basketball, baseball, rapping, whatever it is, right? It's like, yo, you need to get yourself out there more. You need to be around people that are actually doing this. Like, don't just play ball with us. You need to go go to the big park. You know what I'm saying? Go to Bryant Park. Go to this park. Go to go to all these parks. Go to West Forth and really go ahead and see how you stack up against real competition. Because on the block, you the man. They go to that particular arena and they just get engulfed by the atmosphere. They get engulfed by all the other good players that are there and they kind of... They don't meet the expectation. They are just the guy there. So the the man on the on, on the block, just the guy when the competition gets higher. You look at those guys and you're like, if there's something not there, there's something missing. There's not that gear of when there's heavy competition here, like that that light goes on. They kind of shy away from that competition, right? Anthony Davis is that. Anthony Davis is a guy, he's a block runner. He's a dude that looks good around his peers, around guys that look up to him, that are not physically imposing like an Anthony Davis. So he can look better against guys that are not his level of talent. Go ahead and go look at the stats. Anytime Anthony Davis plays a team like Portland or he plays a team, any of these teams that don't have a legit power forward or center, Anthony Davis looks like he's the greatest player that's ever walked the planet. But go look about when he plays elite competition, Giannis. Sabonis, the MVP Jokic, it keeps going on. He never has a good game. And if he does have a good game, it's very few and far between. Fun stat. Did you know that Anthony Davis is 0-8 against Sabonis? Mm -hmm. Did you know that Every game that Sabonis has played against Anthony Davis, he's outplayed him. Would you consider Sabonis a top five power forward in the NBA? No. Would you think, would you consider Anthony Davis a top five power forward in the NBA? Before he became in the Lakers? Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's the problem, right? Block runner. Anybody who's less talent, Anthony Davis is going to puff his chest out and he's going to be on the court. I'm back. Somebody that's the same size, same athletic build, same skill set, he tends to just disappear, fall in line with everybody else and not stick out. So if you're a Laker fan, We just talked about the Buffalo Bills. Ceiling. You're never going to be as good as what you are right now. I saw that last year. We were on the phone with the Nuggets and the the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. And I said, listen, this series is very close. It was decided by margin of error. Mistake here, mistake there. Nuggets were the ones to 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 have have enough to move on. Respect to them, right? They will never be better than what they were at that point. Because you have a guy that when the lights are the brightest, he just becomes a guy. So what should the Lakers do? Can you continue to go down this path knowing that you've hit that ceiling? There, there, there is nothing else here. How do you reset? You've seen it all. I was saying get rid of him last season. You've seen it all. But how do you reset? Who do you trade him to to, to start that? Your guess is as good as mine. 
Lakers management won't trade him. We know this. So if we're playing fantasy GM. What's the way to, to fix this? Don't trade Anthony Davis. Don't trade him. You need to add somebody else that can take his spot. Right. Mm -hmm. That's it. Don't trade him. Let him fall to three. And you know the guy that they should go get? Zach Levine. Zach Levine will be that guy because Zach Levine, as often injured as he is, got that dog in him. It's a player. Can score, can defend a little bit, great, a decent shooter, right? It's a wing guy that can be able to athletically compete with other wings or other wings in the NBA. So if you get a guy like that, if you get a DeMar DeRozan. Those guys, you can be able to put Anthony Davis where he belongs, to being just a guy. So when you're just a guy, you can go ahead and have your 15-point nights. You can have your 35 and 20 nights. They don't need you to be the man every night anymore because you're not going to be relied upon every night to be that guy. He's just not that guy. He's not. He can't do it. Everybody looks at numbers with Anthony Davis, right? Oh, he's 26 and 10 for the season. Those are averages. It's not like you're averaging or you're scoring 26 points a night. It's not the way it works. It's a law of averages. You have 40 points one night. You can have 17 points another night. It's the law of averages. That's the problem, is that there's an illusion with Anthony Davis that many have. I think they're starting to catch on, though. Especially in Laker Nation, a lot of Laker fans are done with him. Because, like I said, they understand that ceiling. They understand that this is as good as he's ever going to be. And the later he gets in his career, the worse he's going to look. He's 30 years old. If he's this inconsistent now, what is he going to look like in the next three or four years? And he can't stay healthy. And he can't stay healthy now. That's why I don't, I, that's why I don't see that fit with Zach Levine either because you really want two injury-prone stars in, on your lineup? I would rather trust Levine than I'd trust Anthony Davis. I think Levine, yes, I agree with you. There is some concern in regards to injury. <clears throat> but I am willing to take a chance with him than I am to see Anthony Davis anymore be the guy that you have to rely upon. Because we have a 40-year-old player that's still killing right now, which is nuts. And Anthony Davis is literally wasting for the last two and a half seasons, he's been wasting productive LeBron James. That's the problem. Can't trust him no more. So, as much as I love my Lakers, I am like a Buffalo Bills fan right now. I understand that it may not get any better than this because of who you have. So that's why these young guys that they have, they may have to package them off. If it's not Levine, it has to be somebody else.